Hey guys, to, welcome to um season one of I don't know what I'm gonna name this yet, but I have decided to make it a series, and um, today we're going to build um, an ultra lightweight car, basically. And um, I have my cars now grouped up into different companies, like um, this one's Lightspeed Inc. And um, their flagship car is going to be the Ultra Light, which is going to be an ultra light car, which is not very great in horsepower, but it makes up for it in just um, sheer weight, and um, so we're going to start with um, carbon fiber Monica carbon fiber. Uh, just go crazy. Um, longitudinal um, um, strut with a wishbone, I think, or no, a push rod. So a uh, strut and a push rod. So um. Then, um, hmm, wonder if I can, nah, let's just leave it normal, um, okay, so, new engine, um, this will be the ultra light with the, uh, V1, there, yeah, and, um, I think this is going to be an inline three, um, And magnesium in line three, which is uh, let's make it like just like five liters or something. Um, probably want to increase the stroke size. Um, there we go. That's five liters. Um. So then, um, or, um, not point, not five liters, I mean point five liters, um, so then we'll have a dual overhead cam, I guess. Actually, um, yeah, we'll go, um, that instead, um, with those and no VVL because it takes weight. Um, then we'll have, um, billet steel. Uh, this one's actually pretty light, um, but we'll go lightweight forged with, um, lightweight forged. Um, top end, uh, naturally aspirated, um, should we go, um, carve or do this for now? The, um, stats will come out. And, um, long tubular with, uh, no cat and no mufflers. This is going to be a pain to drive because it's going to be so loud. Um. Uh, wait, 1.8. Race intake. Yeah, no, these are heavy. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just run it on premium for now. Um. Exhaust, okay. So, first we just increase the RPM limit. Engine is knocking, so we just decrease the compression. Thirty-four point eight one. Wait, no, that's twenty-one horsepower. Twenty-two horsepower. Yeah, I think this is fine. 
supposed to be race intake. And then we just shrink. <laughs> well, there's not much you can really get out of, um, you know, in, in line three. Uh... Oh, that's loud. Yeah, that's very loud. I might just have to put, like... Yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to put some baffles on it. Uh... There's not much you can get out of in line 3, which is 0.5 liters, but, um... Hmm. Uh. Oh yeah, cam profile. We probably still want some low end power. Increase the RPM limit by. Like, to like nine thousand. So it's like nice curve. Um. Hmm. Twenty six horsepower. Okay, um, I think this is good enough. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get much. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Well, that gave us some more power. Uh, just t check it one more time. Um. Intakes, um, yeah, let's try that. Wait, can we do this now? And, um, yeah. There we go. Now, um, I wonder what this does, um, lower weight, okay, so, we might want to, ah, actually decrease the material cost, ah, okay, so one less weight, I guess. You know what? Uh. Yeah, no, we don't need that. Lower, less noise. No. There we go. That's good. Um. So we have 37. Oh, I wonder if we can. Run a. This type of fuel make sure now so we can. Increase compression. And because of that, uh, nope. This one's still the best. Okay. So we have a 38.9. We have a 38.9 horsepower, um, engine, and, um, mm, yeah. Um, that, uh, should be good for our engine, I think, so, let's go to the trim, and, yeah, we don't want the truck, SUV or van, okay, go so SUV, um, <sighs> I don't know if I want to make this look ridiculous or not, like, oh, 
Oh my god, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just make it as small as possible. Can go. Like that. Okay. There we go. Just super small, tiny. So, uh, I guess we'll just paint this, like... Hmm. Just paint this black, I guess. Just uh, medium stuff, black. For a trim, will you? Yeah, you can keep your. Yeah, we'll have to change that, but, um. Yeah, just, uh. Black everything. And, um. So, um. We use this. Oh, yeah, these don't look too bad. Uh, then we have a grill. Hmm. I don't know what grill will look good on this. Uh, ah, huh, okay. I'll take that. And then we'll just put the Badge up here with our number plate um, down here. Uh, now, um, oh yeah, we have to, we forgot about the these things. Mm. Okay, there we go. Then on the sides, actually, um, just give it one of these. There we go. Um, then, um, we need, uh, where's that? Yes, the fuel cap. I wonder where this would go. Right there, or... Let's put it right there. <laughs> and then, um... Hmm. Okay. And then around, um... On the back here, we'll just put another... Plate. Uh... And then we'll have our tail lights now I don't like those no those look terrible uh just put the bar up here with um I don't know uh and these are fine I guess with those and um we'll have these yeah um then, um, just, no, probably just use one of these for us. Yeah, 
it's a normal one it cost um wheels wheels um yeah that's fine um no aerial i guess um hmm you know what let's make this have some scoops on top uh Uh, guess that's fine. <laughs> Oops, um, so, uh, then, hmm, I think this is fine. Hope I didn't forget anything. Yeah, okay. So then our drive crane just do a front wheel drive. <laughs> uh a manual with five gears, cause why not? No, four gears. Just give ourselves a viscous LSD, I guess. <sighs> Should we go outside again? Um. Hmm. Lower weight. High costs. Okay. Just make the toss be like 100. Mmm. Okay, so wheels. Get some hard long life, I guess. Actually, give it some mediums. Um, with alloy wheels. Wait, no. Magnesium wheels. Bump this quality up to like 10. Five, fine. There. Mm. Lower weight, yay. Just bump it up. Um. Carbon ceramics. One piston carbon ceramics. Yeah, no, none of those. Interior. You yeah, know, you get the double, double small seat things. Um, a basic interior. The least weight. No power steering. <laughs> okay, ABS with no safety let's just give it some standard springs I guess yeah it doesn't need anything fancy gas monotube with passives okay Rear dampers are hard, okay. Brake force is high. Hmm. 
Let's do this. Um. Rear brake force is still high. Okay. Who cares? Um. Tires are wide. Okay. Rear brake force is high. Cars issues. Twenty eight. Now, if we do this, oh, want to get it back to twenty eight, I think. Oh, haha, that's the lightest weight. This is gonna get really bad wheel spin. That's for sure. <laughs> Give it some huge offset. It doesn't look like that. There we go. Um, car has issues with wheel spin. Of course it does. <sighs> okay, fine, you get five gears. Very force is very high. Wheel spin, wheel spin. High profile. Okay, fine, you get that. So you can do this. Severe issues with wheel spin. Why do you have severe issues with wheel spin? Your engine is literally 28 HP or something like that. Well, horsepower. Um, uh, top speed. There we go. Overdrive, okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, that's a huge long gear. Okay, that's, I guess that's fine. They're wide. Okay, fine, you get that. The rear tires are still wide. Um. Okay, maybe you get more rims. There we go. Front tires are narrow now. Just do that. Nope, Ooh, that's way too much. Whoa. Okay, there. 90. Wheel spin, wheel spin, load. Brake force, rear tires, brakes. Okay. Yes, that's good. Oh my god, those look like wagon wheels. <laughs> well, um, it's all for ultralight. <laughs> Rear brake force is still very high. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to do with that. Um, wheel spin, wheel spin. Uh,. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, uh, I think this is good. Um, how heavy is this, anyways? Just check. Oh, wow, that is light. Hmm. <laughs> Only 344 kilograms. Um, that is a very light car.
Yeah, that's a light car. Um, compared to my drag cars, those were like way heavy. Um, but uh, let me check what the miles per gallon of this is. Um, oh wow, that's some really good fuel economy too. Uh, that would really do good in that contest too. But it's gonna be lacking in like speed and stuff. But uh. Yeah, I think that's good, and I'll see you in, oh wait, not yet. I'll see you in Vminji, and uh, see you later. Hey guys, I'm back in BMNG, and, um, this is the ultralight. It's really light, as you can see, it's only, um, 383 kilograms, or, for those of you in the U.S., it's 843 pounds, and, um, yeah, this is really light compared to my other cars, because, uh, uh, let me switch to this guy, the Mio Getro, um, we made this in the last video, you should probably go check it out if you haven't, um, I'll put a card in the top right corner, um, assuming I don't forget, um, but, uh, yeah, as you can see, this thing is, um, 1,340 kilograms, or 200, 2,953 pounds, and this is really heavy. Well, but it is the cheapest car, so, um, yeah. Now, if this is a sports car I have, um, I did not make this on video. I just had it before. Um, I made this about, like, probably, like, one year ago. Um, I really like how this drives. Um, always used it for getting around but um as you can see this thing is around 2,000 kilograms and around 4,000 pounds so yeah it's really heavy and um so back to the ultralight um even though um its engine's only like 28 horsepower it actually drives pretty fast because of its lightweight um and as you can see it has like wagon wheels because um yeah we made the rims really wide, so we could make the, um, wheels really thin, and, um, this is what came out, but it actually drives pretty well, um, other than the drifting, but, um, it actually drives pretty fast for a 28 horsepower car compared to, um, the 11 horsepower car back there, the Mio Getro, but comes to no surprise because that thing is literally, like, five times the weight of this this one's like really light it's a 0.5 liter i3 <laughs> uh yeah so it drives pretty well it can actually drive up hills compared to the mio getro over there because uh yeah um shouldn't do that um yeah but it drives better than the mio getro <laughs> by a lot it can actually go up hills, which is a nice improvement. Uh. Um. It, uh. Yeah, it just works. Uh. I uh, probably shouldn't went went in there, but um, let's see if it can go up like this. Yeah, it goes up no problem, even with that twenty eight horsepower engine, because this thing is way light compared to like. Let's get to the Mio Getro over here. This thing can barely pull itself, and also it's like so bad that um, if you rev too high, it, um, it, uh, 
kills your car, but, um... Yeah, this thing's not going up any hills anytime soon. Um, but this one goes up hills, no problem. Um, so, uh, guess I'll see you later, probably. Uh, next episode's probably gonna be tom um, tomorrow or, like, the day after tomorrow. But, um, yeah, tomor tomorrow or the day after tomorrow we'll be making another car. And, um, I don't know what we should do with that car yet, about that car yet, but, um, yeah, stay tuned for that next episode of the season, and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye.